Clandestine Trust, a forerunner to dangerous new love triangle in Bold and Beautiful preview. Shelia, the incense star of Bold and Beautiful, hasn't simply convinced herself that she's gotten away with murder. She has. She consequently thinks that nothing else could possibly stand in the way of her reconciliation with her former roommate, Deacon. But this isn't always the case. The stars may be realigning to block Shelia from one thing that she wants the most, aside from her opportunity to slay her lifelong enemy. Lauren of Young and the Restless, Love as Hope Daddy Dearest, holds a secret rendezvous in July 26th episode. Wanna guess with whom? Heads are going to blow up the moment the couple gets back together and dares to admit their connection to the world. Except for one, that is, the other women. Taylor was friends with Shelia, the lunatic, who once fatally shot her for a brief period of time. Therefore, the men and psychiatrist is better equipped than most to grasp how someone could come to believe the villain's assertion that all I really need is a hug. She would therefore be uniquely suited to approach Deacon and politely inquire WTH. Naturally, Deacon would contend that Taylor doesn't care about his relations with Chilia, but it is, she would say, I don't want you to suffer. Everyone who approaches Celia ends up hurt. They suffer harm. She continues, and sometimes forever. Deacon is debuts since Taylor attempt to steer him back in Brooke's direction still stings him. But he's not necessary. Taylor confesses, yay, I made a mistake. It occurs. However, your mistake will result in more hospitalizations than mine did. Hands off my man, please. Shelia would undoubtedly be furious about Taylor's interference, however the jailbird refused to swamp her with the bees to help her get a fiery vehicle crash. Shelia would give her a composer and play it cool. This would then give Taylor idea to press her to the point where she snaps and does something that could land her back in jail. What? However, naturally, Taylor concludes that going after Deacon is the best way to make Shelia even nuts. It functions. Shelia's instability worsens over time. At the same moment, Deacon and Taylor both unintentionally experience the reality of what starts as a fun flirtation. He had assumed that she was too formal for him. She believed he was too spontaneous and impromptu for her. But it turns out that they appreciate and compliment one another. He says over the breadsticks at El Giardino, and here I always thought you didn't like me. He is corrected by Taylor, I've always liked you, but you know, now I enjoy you. There is a significant difference. The end of all hope. Observing Deacon and Taylor as being significantly cozier than she would prefer, or at all cozy, Shelia decides to beat the opposition. Only how and whether she will be successful remains to be seen.